One of the strokes you can use is like this. I got a slide in my bag, you want it? No need for it. That's what you do with your slide. First exercise is just to try to alternate. And what you're really doing is coming up with your thumb and slapping down with your fingers, coming up and splashing. Bringing that thumb up, raising your hand up. Pull, 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 pull smack, pull smack. Once you get that going, you take your slide and you go. slide up to the octave and let this room ring open without touching it with your slide and give it that drone. Just, you're just... So the exercise again. You will just have to touch it real lightly with your slide to make it work. Take, take your slide up and let these strings ring without the slide touching these. Mm -hmm. or, or the opposite. You can So you get used to that. Then once you get that down, then try a bass line without playing these. Diddly bow one string kinda. Sometimes take my slide and play like this, you know. You get it real clean so you don't muffle these strings when you go to try to make that change. Once you get that going, so now you know how to bring them all up together. You know how to play on one string. And you start playing a lead. that down you're gonna start playing a lead. You can start doing that with just your three string. Play your bass. Three string, bass. lesson starts to tie in. All these lessons come together after you. All the lessons come together. Very simple. to tune it and I'll show you all right here we go you notice how that's dead get that cut No 
Oh, may I tune mine. If you do any variations, just be careful not to pop the strings when you fool around. You can match these two, match these two. Spilled friendship wrong. I'm a fucking <laughs> Jesus. I'm not a spell friend. Oh damn. Man. Listen. Actually, if you go the whole nine yards, what you're supposed to do is, when you route this dowel, it, it gets it's an ever increasing angle, and so uh, when you when you actually have it on without the strings, it pops back this way. Oh, okay. You can sort of see how that would work. Yeah. And you know what you do is you go, you know, if you jig it right, you can also leave a little little bit of wood right here for a lift to grab onto this nut, and then it sounds like then it sounds like. Well, it sounds so good. Well, he didn't have you to. Made, did you make this? No, a friend was making them. Uh, a guy I met was making them in Memphis, and uh, he was he had a double neck with the necks about this far apart. And he was using them through different amps, you know, for different keys, so he could change keys. And I just asked him, 
to the next together. Uh -huh. Is that, and you call it this? We call this one a, a Lobo. A Lobo. He, he, the maker's name is John Lowe. And I helped him design just this model. It's a, called a heel heart. We call it a heel heart. He lives in Memphis. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, we're having a gathering. Oh, really? In Memphis. Uh, you know Andy and Larkin Cohen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. I've, I've known them for Larkin years. Cohen. Larkin's such uh -huh. a nice lady. Her uh, a friend that she sang with when they were in school, Mary Dickinson. Yeah. Jim Dickinson. Right, 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 right. They live, they live down here. They used to, I used to work at the drugstore in Hanover. Oh, and I, I knew see. everybody, and Mary used to come there. With her boys, I've known the boys, Luther and Cousins, oh, they were yeah, you're boys. But, uh, anyway, she's the one that put me on to Larkin, said she did the uh, dulcimer thing. So I went to the, the third dulcimer thing they had in Memphis, but they don't have it there anymore. This is a new deal. It's going to be at a second Presbyterian, a church on Second Street. Do you live here on Davis? I Lane? live at the end. I'm Miss Davis at Davis. Oh, you're Miss Davis. Nice to meet you, Richard Johnston. Oh, well, good. I'm good. sorry the place is a mess, but I'm oh, a bachelor okay. and I'm just moving in. It's taking me care. time. I'm, I'm always moving around, never have time yeah. to come over here and straighten it out. And that little crippled dog of mine, I'm going to have to put oh, it down on Monday. Oh, that's I, I can't oh. keep her like that any longer. Yeah. She got hit and I just, oh. I've been too weak to put her down. No, I've been, um, I've, I've been, I've been having a really struggle with the idea of putting her down. Yeah. So you sound like my daughter. She works for a bit. She takes home every. I have three got a, a three, three legged dog and a, you know, cat with no toes. And to ask like her if she wants another one. No, she doesn't. No. <laughs> Where did the Dickinsons live when they lived down here? <sighs> Was it around here? Over in, uh, around the lake, maybe Lake of the Hills or around the lake, lake there, like that. on the other side of the lake. But they have been. Cold water, water now. Yeah. From what I Mary still comes up here. I saw her in Coleman the other day. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, she still comes up here. Mrs. Davis. Uh, Charlotte Davis. Is Charlotte Davis. Mm -hmm. And so I know there's more than one Davis living around here, right? Yeah. Uh, Pat and Charlotte, that's me and my husband. We lived out at the very end, okay. the last house. And then right. Steve and Francine, our son, oh, the son and his wife and their two girls live right, and their baby. They live right up here in the log house. Okay. So right up from the log house is where the gateway is. I see. That's our property down there. Well, Charlotte's very nice to meet you. you. I appreciate beautiful. you coming by. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who told me that you played, that there was a Dulcimer player down here. Well, it's, it's so a deal. I've been wanting to meet you because yeah. I've been playing for a while, but I don't, I'm not good. Well, we'll have but to I sit out in the yard some days and swing oh, sometime. Okay. You don't want to listen to me. Sure I do. I want, <laughs> no, I want to play. Hey, I'll, okay, I'll take the instrument and want to play it myself. I want to uh, learn. Good, good. I want to learn. I've got about three of them. You know, you can learn on one of them. <laughs> well, I'll have to come by and say hello someday. Okay. okay. Uh, good to meet you. I like that thing. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'll come by and drop you off a copy of my music. Oh, okay. And PBS made a documentary about me. They did. There in March. And I'm well, be sure to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. You're nice good. to meet you, man. You too. Right. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. You take care, Charlotte. Uh -huh.